with us. Are we overstating, uh, perhaps, or maybe not, the new pound power of the American worker and of big labor? You're not overstating it. That power is real. We don't know how long it will last. It has to do with the kinds of labor shortages and supply chain uh, uh, sort of tightness that you've referred to. But yeah, workers have a lot more power than they have for years. Interesting, out of Kelsey's report, what struck me, uh, John Deere's offering 5 to 6% for employees. The CEO got 160% uh, pay increase. Is it fair to compare those percentages as we're talking about things? I think it is. And we've seen growing inequality in this country since the 1970s. The gap between the CEO and the rank and file worker has consistently grown. I think it makes sense for workers to point to that and to bring that up at a point when they finally have a little leverage to do something about it. Well, and for sure, they've got a friend uh, in the White House, even if President Biden has not mentioned anything about the strikers. His press secretary did today. Take a listen. Our economy is shifting to a labor market where workers have more bargaining power. Ultimately, that's a good thing for workers to have more bargaining power and be able to choose more. Uh, that means workers can push for higher wages and more dignity and respect in the workplace. We're talking about big, big companies here, John Deere, Kellogg, uh, either Dow 30 companies or certainly on the uh, S&P 500 companies. Uh, they can endure an awful lot of pain. Who's going to get worse here, the American consumer with the empty shelves or these companies? <laughs> well, it does hurt these companies when they can't produce uh, and when they're stuck at a point when part of what's happening is there's a surge of demand. If companies have a harder time meeting that demand, yes, they can jack up prices. But what they really want to be doing is selling products and expanding market share. So yes, uh, if workers get more, that will feed through the economy and it will tend to contribute to inflation. But if what that means is that workers are getting a bigger piece of the pie, I would agree with Jen Psaki that that's a good thing. Yeah, the question is, bigger piece of the pie, and does it buy any more as inflation keeps going up? Inflation's up a lot more than a 5 or 6% raise, not up more than a 160% raise that the CEO uh, got. Professor Tilly, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. West Virginia.